Hey, what's going on, Action Figure Addicts? This is Seaspray, and I'm here yet again to give you Action Figure Fix. I'm going to do a series of reviews for you guys um, in the next little while. We have Marvel Legends Wave 1, it's the revamp of the Marvel Legends and whatnot. Uh, we have seven figures. Just take a quick look at the package here. We have Steve Rogers, we're going to do first. Then next up, we have Hope Summers, and then Iron Man, Claw, Constrictor, Ghost Rider, and then Thor. So, um, we're going to work our way through the list and uh, get to the end. And So the last review will be Thor. We're going to go in order here. So, with this being the first one, Steve Rogers, uh, we're going to start it off now. All of these have BAF pieces, which are Build-A-Figure, except for Thor. So 1 through 6 have pieces to assemble Terax, and I'm pretty excited to do that. So I finally got Ghost Rider and Steve Rogers, and I can finally do... Uh, the whole series and put together Terax. So, you know what guys, we'll just take a quick look at the package here first. So as you can see we have Steve Rogers in the package with the shield and a couple of guns and then the crunchable region for Terax. Um, I like the artwork, I like the package. Uh, this is Canadian packaging so it has bilingual language on it. So I am going to open this and yeah. The artwork on the package isn't too bad, you know, it's the same as on the front, but it shows the whole picture on the back, as you can see. So there's not much more I can say about this thing in the package, so let's now take it out of the package and go over it in further detail. Alright guys, let's do this. And here we have Steve Rogers out of the package. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, he, he, the sculpt is really you know, well done, the overall body of the sculpt, but the one thing that lacks for me um, is the head sculpt. Kind of large, and you know... From what it looks on the package, and also the Marvel Universe version of this guy, looks a heck of a lot better. Not a big fan of the head sculpt. But with that aside, the sculpt is great. You know, it looks well done. Nice paint apps. Um, nice, a lot of detailing on there. A lot of little bits and pieces that kind of add texture to the figure. Comes with a couple of pistols and, of course, a shield. Let's take a look up on this guy here. I'll take all of his stuff off and I'll put it back on, show you guys what it looks like. But for now, we'll just leave it on, do a 360, kind of show everything on him, you can see the nice shiny shield pacha pacha! to suck it all the way around and then let's go closer up on this guy, you can take a look at his ugly mug his huge oversized head you know, it, the sculpt is good, the paint apps are good, the detailing is good but it's just, it's too big I think, it's just you know, it's a little bit too big, they should have downsized it just a little bit in my opinion, but that's my own opinion. You can have your own, and if you like it, more power to you. Leading into the chest, you got the stripes and the star, a navy blue costume with a light tone in there, and you got a little bit of like, detailing in the muscles and around the edges of the different points of his body parts. And then uh, you got this belt that is on him. It's loose, and it's all brown. It has some nice detailing stitching pockets little belt buckle, nothing else really on it. Um, I don't think it can come off unless you kind of cut it or um, maybe rub some oil on him or some butter or something like that, but I don't think it's going to come off. And leading down into the pants, um, you got the red striping with the white. I'm not a big fan of that, actually. It looks kind of stupid. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And then you got those boots, this brown kind of protectors around his boots. I don't know the names for those, but there they are, with three buckles on each side. And actually, I forgot to mention, he has these brown gloves on his hands, so some nice stitching in there, and he got the little buckles on his wrists and stuff like that. But And on the boots, on his feet, shiny black boots, some detailing on there, you can see some stitching, and got the texture underneath, at the hole, for the stand. So that's pretty much it for Steve-O here. Um, like I said, you got the weapons, you can take a look at these, nice silver detailed weapons, looks pretty good um, I'm not sure what kind of gun that is, maybe a 9mm, not sure and you got uh, I think the laser scope on the bottom there so weapon, guns are pretty cool, they don't have any holsters or nothing so you can't put them in the holsters and then you got this shield which of course comes off, it has a peg and also kinda like a C-grip oh. C grip there you can see the C grip you can see if you caught that right on 
and that also can fit on his wrist. You can pop it on his wrist as you. Um, all photos, cool photos, and I'll show all the posability and you know him with his weapons, non non weapons and stuff. You can check it out. And now, quickly here, we're just gonna jump into articulation and posability. So, like, got this oversized head that can rotate 360. It can go up and down pretty good, actually. It's a nice uh, posability movement there. His arms can go up and down pretty good, actually. 360 rotation on the shoulder joint, 360 on the bicep, kind of like the upper bicep, right above the, the bicep, actually, right under the shoulder. Two points of movement in the arm, as you can see, one, two, and you got the 360 at the um, it's not at the wrist, it's at the mid forearm actually, um, the, and also the hands do not move. You got the 360 movement at the waist, is uh, the ab crunch, pretty good ab crunch. His legs can go uh, up and down, well, it's pretty stiff, I just took this guy to the package, so it's kind of, actually there we go, you just got to align the piece here, and you can get the kicking, and the back kicking going. It does move a lot better, I just have to loosen it up, so we'll get more of that uh, in detail when I take my photos. But you got the, they can move through 360 at the joint on the crotch region, and 360 at the upper thigh. They can they have a, a point where they can go up and down, and then you got the double hinged knees, as you can see, boom, chicka boom, boom, and feet can go, um, they don't really move at all, they can go side to side, but they're hindered by this boot guard thing. Um, a little bit of up and down toe movement but I think it's part of the joint where it connects to the figure, not necessarily a point of articulation and no side swivel. So on that note that's pretty much it. Um, cool looking figure. You know if you put a like this cover his face up it's a nice sculpt. But yeah other than that great figure. Um, I suggest you pick it up and if you want to get the whole wave of Marvel Legends Wave 1 from Hasbro, the new series there, and you want Terax, it's a must, unless you buy it separately and whatnot, but if you love Captain America, if you love Steve Rogers, and the whole shield thingy, my bopper, then this is your figure, but I would say there are better Captain America figures out there, but as a Steve Rogers 6 inch, I'm not too sure if there's any other that exist other than this guy, so you got the shield, you got the pistols, you got the figure, and then you have the piece for Terax. That's pretty much it. This is Seaspray. Thanks for watching the video review on Marvel Legends Wave 1, Steve Rogers. And this is Seaspray yet again, like I just said. Biggity bam, big boo. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. More Marvel Legends reviews coming up. Until then, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.